What is up, guys? It is your boy, Anecdotal, and I am back with some more Endless Frontier. And today, what I'm going to do is participate in the refresh events for units. And that is units only, guys. There is no reason ever to refresh on artifacts. So, when is it a good time to do the unit re refresh events? The best time to do it is when you notice that you have no inner passion pets or units that you need to upgrade anymore. That your spirit awakening isn't maxed out. That you need units to get innervate 1 or innervate 2. And if you don't have those units to evolve, well then guys, the best thing to do is to go ahead and try to get those units. Now I have over 10k gems. And 50 at a time, I'm going to waste them all. So let's see what I get. And I get a whole lot of nothing. Nada. Nothing again. Man, this is sad. So let's go, guys. So what I'm really hoping for are drummers, dark archers. Let me reverse that. I'm looking for dark archers way more than drummers. So guys, ooh, ooh, Valkyrie, Valkyrie. Thank you. I need more Valkyries for the Valkyrie buff, I'm pretty sure. That went, okay, Golem. At some point, I will get these seven-star artifacts, and Golem might need to be the sacrificial lamb, along, along with Hands of Death. So these are all good things. Anytime I get any 5-star, I'm at the very least happy. But if you want to see an elated anecdotal, show me a Dark Archer. Or show me a Drummer. Dark Archer. Drummer. Ah, okay. Well, right now, Hands of Death. Guys, how many Hands of Death? Two now? One, one Valkyrie, one Golem? Alright, okay. I'm going to speed past this because, you know what, let me just look down, up, quick swipes, making sure I don't miss anything good, and no, nothing, nothing. This is definitely the thing that you want to do when you notice that there are things that you need to get for Inner Passion, maybe Innervate, or Spirit Awakening. Ugh, ugh, should I buy this drummer? Should I buy that drummer? <sighs> Hopefully that is not something I'm going to regret later, but, ooh. Every time I see it, but you know what? I could get a drummer for free. It costs 2,800 crystals to evolve one to six star. So I'm just going to keep it waiting. I got a priest. I already have all the priests I need. So that doesn't really matter to me anymore. If only we can trade like valuable units for valuable unit. Like I would love to say, oh, hello, fellow guildmate. Do you need a priest? Because I need a drummer. Because I need a dark archer. Because once you get to 24 dark archers, you don't need any more. Once you get to 12 priests, you also don't need any more. And I know that I know that Ecor values them the same. That they both have that same $1 cost. When you first start this game, you can buy one Dark Archer or you can buy one Priest. All for a dollar. And it is, I gotta say that it is an amazing deal. Hippogriff. Uh, I regret not buying more of you when you were in the honor shop. I'm about to get Hippong, and guys, Hippogriff, man, if you want to get that, that extra skip mechanism that Hippogriff has, you need to get, I think, 20, 20 Hippogriffs, or 24 Hippogriffs, I don't remember the exact amount, but, ooh, ooh, do, I am dying for Hippogriffs as well, I still have a ways to go, maybe like a month or two before I grab Hippogriff and get him up to 5 star. I mean, hit Pong and get him into 5-star and have the Hippogriff skill work from the time shop. But yeah, guys, I have, I think, 11. Like, the Hippos that are in my team are all the Hippos I have. And I think I have maybe one more in the time shop. So I am in desperate need for Hippos. Because if not, I can't swap out the Hippo team. And who knows what the new units are going to be like, right? They, they, might, they might be meta-changing. I mean, it's the big 10. It's one zero. When you go into the double digits... The new units have to be insane. And once that happens, I will release a video on, on the patch notes if they tell us information about that. So be ready for that. Drummer. Drummer. Drummer, why? Why, drummer? Why? So, so far, I'm getting some horrible, horrible luck. This this is not good YouTube luck. I heard that if you do do this and you plan on putting it out on YouTube, you'll get some good luck. I got an alchemist, but I don't need it. My spirit awakening is maxed. All I need right now is inner passion. So if I can get a steampunk... That would be amazing, because I'm also working on the E4040, or E44, E77, 
One of those. E, E number number. That's the Steampunk's pet. Ah, oh, Dark Archer. Dark Archer, why? Why do you do these things to me, Dark Archer? You know what? I think... I think I'm going to get this Dark Archer. Yeah. It's happening. And what's also going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and go to the quiz roulette. Because in this roulette, that's right guys, BAM! There's another Dark Archer. And I need all the Dark Archers that I can get so I can get up to that magical number 24. And guys, ugh, I did not get it. So I am going to go ahead and try again. And all of you should too because Dark Archers are worth it. So guys, if you like this video on unit refreshing and just trying to get these Dark Archers, make sure to like it. Share it with your guildmates and friends. And if you want some more Endless Frontier content, don't, not enough gems. Huh. Make sure to subscribe. My name is Anecdotal. And I wish you at least twice the amount of luck that I had. Peace out.